hello friends today we learn about sards so in gujarati it is called karani so let us first understand what is sard so basically sards are the values in square root that cannot be further simplified and uh, cannot be written it cannot be written as a rational number so basically the sorts are irrational numbers. is for example root 2 is a sort root 5 is a sort okay now there are certain rules uh, for the sort so uh, let us have some rules the first rule is uh, if you have root r s product here then you can have root r multiply root s what it says it says like this um uh, like you can have say root 14 you can write as root 7 multiply 2 so you can write as root 7 multiply root If I have another example, root twenty. Let us simplify root twenty. So can I write root twenty as root four multiply five? So we can write root four multiply root five. But what is root four? So it is root two square and root five. And we know root two square is nothing but two. so that is 2 root 5 so one more thing if i write root a it is also consider as a power 1 by 2 if i write n through t meaning a to the power 1 by n so this is a sort can be written in the exponential form this is called exponential form रूट ऑफ एस so like this if i have to write write root 18 upon say 169 so then it is nothing but root 18 upon root 169 root 18 can i write like this root 9 multiply 2 and this is nothing but we know it is 13 square and again this is root 9 root 2 by 13 but root 9 is 3 so this is 3 root 2 by 13 there is another rule say rule 3 so this 
so it says like this r by root s so in denominator it is square root sign so we can simplify this way r by square root s and multiply and divide by square root s so this is nothing but r root s and root s multiply root s is nothing but s so like this say suppose we want to simplify 2 upon root 3 2 divided by square root 3 so this is nothing but 2 divided by root 3 multiply root 3 divided by root 3 so this is 2 root 3 and this is root 3 multiply root 3 is nothing but 3 one more you need to take care is uh, root of a plus root of b is not equal to root of a plus b Fine. now uh, another rule says like this p square root r plus or minus q square root of r so you can write this as p plus q you can take common root r okay so if it is like 8 root 6 plus 2 root 6 so this is nothing but 8 plus 2 root 6 and so that is nothing but 10 root 6 okay next rule we can have is very important and it is like this say so r upon say p plus q root n so we can write as r upon p plus q root n multiply and divide by p minus q root n upon p minus q root n and so this is nothing but r into p minus q root n divided by now this is a plus b a minus p so you know that a plus b a minus b is a square minus b square so this is nothing but p square minus q square root n square and so this is r into p minus q root n upon p square minus q square n that way we need to simplify so we can have one example like that is called rationalize also. This is called rationalize. So rationalize is suppose 1 upon 3 plus root 2. So what you can do is like this 1 upon 3 plus root 2. Multiply and divide by 3 minus root 2. So this is 3 minus root 2 upon. Now this is a plus b a minus b so this is 9 a square minus b square so that is 9 minus root 2 squares so that is nothing but 4 so this is equal to not 4 so this is 9 that means 3 square minus root 2 square this is 3 square so this is 3 minus root 2 upon 9 minus 2 so this is 3 minus root 2 by 7 there is another rule let us have the rule 
and it is similar r upon p minus q root n so what we can do is r upon p minus q root n multiply and divide with p plus q root n p plus q root n and then you can apply this formula a square minus b square and simplify so have let us have one example like this 1 upon 3 minus root 2 so 1 upon 3 minus root 2 multiply and divide by 3 plus root 2 3 plus root 2 so this is 3 plus root 2 over this is 3 square minus root 2 square so 3 plus root 2 over 9 minus 2 so 3 plus root 2 by say 1 so that is the way you can have uh, 